course, you know, I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to get home and unpack and have a day to myself. Well, not even a day because I travel for most of Sunday, but have, you know, the balance of Sunday to get my life together because I am, it's eight o'clock now. I'm usually at my desk sitting at work, like getting my day started by 7.30 and actually it's 8.15 right now. Um, and that's okay, but I am very tired and um, it didn't help last evening that um, I stayed up and watched football all night and my team as well as the underdog team that I was rooting for did not win. So that I, I think that affected my psyche a little bit too. Um, so yeah, it's an array of feelings right now, but being tired is prominent amongst them all. Um, so I'm going to go get some coffee um, and then we will reestablish this conversation. I hope that you guys are well. So let me tell you something. I don't mean to step on the people of Detroit's caffeinated necks, but the coffee that I had while I was there was mid at best. Um, so being home and having my own brew, like, <laughs> like I think out of the trip, everything was perfect except for the coffee. So if you are from Detroit and I'm slandering, I apologize. So let me know in the comments where good coffee is so that when I go back I can go to that place because the stuff that I had was not okay I went to Papa Joe's meh um the coffee that was in the um Detroit Marriott Renaissance Center meh um Panera Bread well I think Panera is I like rich deep coffee so they I mean they're whatever everywhere that I go um but yeah like it was not okay it was offensive <laughs> um and i i enjoyed my time in, in detroit and i want to go back so if you all have recommendations for coffee um and i know michigan has um tim hortons that's fine um where i was there was no tim hortons so i didn't get to go there um, I don't drink Starbucks anymore, so that is what it is. Um, but yeah, any moms and pops, any um, entrepreneurial places, any place that just has stand up a cafe experience, please let me know because I, I can't do that again. All right. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in. <laughs> I'm always driving and seeing really interesting things on the back of people's cars. Um, that one just kind of stuck out to me a little bit. But hey, girl, hey, how you doing? Um, I'm good. I feel like we we always talk about this where you all find me is in the car as per usual. Um, but also, like, I'm always going grocery shopping. Like, I'm going to pick up, well, I just did my Aldi order. Um, but I'm going to Target now, too. And it's like dude we just did this um and i have three mouths that are no longer living in my house full time so why am i why is the frequency feeling like i'm going to the grocery store more frequently than what is normal and usual so yeah i'm just sitting with that right now feeling a kind of way but it's whatever um, i am grateful that i can go to the grocery store but i do feel like i'm in there quite a bit they should i should have you know uh, a percentage of shares at this point as much time as i spend in the grocery store but anyway i hope that you guys are doing well it is still cold um yeah i'm looking forward to spring I do love the winter, but what I've noticed is that our winters here have been very inconsistent. So we'll go from like, like I said, 17 degrees. Um, I was out of town last weekend, but all of last weekend, it was like 65. There was a high of 72 at one point. Um, we're back down to 46 right now. 
which is super annoying. Um, I just like I just like consistency in my seasons. Um, if it's going to be winter, let it be winter until you know April or the end of March or whatever. But you know this up and down. My poor plants are dying. Uh, they can't figure their lives out. One of my coworkers was telling me that she she got. Um, some caterpillars for her kids and they're cocooning and they're all confused about when to come out and when not and she's scared that they're gonna die and her babies aren't gonna be able to appreciate you know the kind of this life cycle so it's it's very interesting in how weather impacts us whether it be you know from an ecosystem perspective or even our moods um, but yeah I'm kind of over the up and down um, like you know, I'm starting to hear some sniffles in the house and I know that is part and parcel to the weather changing. Well, actually, it's part and parcel to touching somebody, something that was touched by someone who was sick. Yeah. Don't let, don't let um, wives tales fool you that the weather makes you sick, like germs make you sick. But germs come because people have poor uh, health and sanitary practices at this time of year it seems um, but anyway I digress going to pick up my groceries and then I am going to give myself a manicure I wrecked my nails when I was in Detroit and I deserve it um, I would love to go get a manicure but I just don't have time so I am going to give my man, give myself a manicure today. I think I am done with the, I probably will do gel, um, but I probably will do an overlay as opposed to doing a gel decor, just because that takes a little bit of a long time to do the decor, do the gel, do the UV, and do another top coat. So I just will probably do the overlay and the top coat because that's, that's pretty quick to do. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, bye. Le pain et les croissants. Je voudrais un verre de vin. Le serveur parle anglais. Un bière, s'il vous plaît. Deux tasses. Une table pour deux personnes, s'il vous plaît. Les toilettes pour hommes. La salade. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right, so quit your worries. I get it. The eyes can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, no, you'll stand firm. Sat and watch from the sidelines, one too many times. Wicked games to play, make me want to lose my mind. Found solitude, knowing it'll be over soon. Ever need a boost, count on me for the one two. Trouble don't last when the tough gets going. Baby, all we do is win, so show me my opponent. Adversity, shout straight. I don't know why I put the alerts on my phone because. Although they come up, it's like 40 minutes to an hour later. So I got an Amazon package. My Amazon order came, but I just got the alert now. And it's been sitting out on the porch for like 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go now to see what it is, where it is, um, and check it out. All right. Better put my plate up in the kitchen but yeah let me go see what I got from Amazon oh it's chilly out Cause how we handle those like an S on our chest Super proud of how we held it down on the way up Can't wait for our day to ball, this is a layup Nobody ever said this would be easy But trust when I say that you got I it I know you've me. been looking for a breakthrough Trying our best to make do Every day is something new But change don't come, oh yes it's true Brighter days are straight ahead
I'm, have I called you a trash bag before? <laughs> <laughs> Change gon' come, oh yes, it's true. Brighter days are straight ahead. Follow me, won't be misled. Just look up, don't hang your head, and we'll get to the promise, yeah. And it may seem like things ain't working now, but I know we gon' find a way without a doubt. Just hold on a little longer, you gon' see this through. I've been there, sir. Always remain watching the Carolina do game, but my homie couldn't hang. <laughs> everybody's doing good I am just a little bit overwhelmed right now um, I'm not sure what's going on with me um, only because it is the fifth and I just feel like ooh, son um, I just feel like where is my are my days going where's the time going um, like I'm running to the bank right now because well actually I do know what happened um, the first was Friday the first was Thursday but the weekend you know of course took the, a couple of days so it's like I'm Monday is already the fifth and I'm like oh my gosh you know how did I miss two business days but I didn't miss two business days it was the weekend so thank y'all because I had to kind of flesh that out and talk it out because I'm like how is it the fifth already um because I've been so busy uh, like I haven't been going I didn't go to the bank last week like I should have um, just some a couple of stuff errands I had to run um, that I didn't get done and now it's like you know five o'clock on the fifth and I'm like oh my gosh I have you know I got to get this stuff done so don't mind me excuse my rant I just was feeling a little overwhelmed in the moment um, and feeling like I wasn't getting things accomplished but you know again timing and all of that was the reason so anyway I hope that you guys are good I gotta I'm supposed to be cooking dinner right now but like I said I'm running errands um, I gotta make a couple of stops at the store and um, then after that yeah I'll be home start cooking dinner so that we can get done get prepared for our day tomorrow so again hope everybody's well and I'll talk to you guys in just a bit I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying to you 
I hope you're getting the importance of the will of God for your life. This is no game. We're dealing with your life. We're dealing with your happiness. We're dealing with how the trajectory of your life will pan out based on who and what you connect with. I say to you a million times, your connection will determine your direction. It's okay to not be okay. In fact, I would say most people aren't okay. Most people carry around emotional baggage and trauma that they may never talk to anybody about in their entire life. The good news is though, that you don't have to do this alone. No one does. There are all kinds of people. Hey girl, hey. I hope that you're doing well. It's Friday. Um, always thrilled about it being the end of the work week. Um, I hope that everyone is doing great. And yeah, all is good, no complaints. However, I said complaints and immediately I thought of one. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? And again, it's just my own self-reflection and assessment. But why didn't anybody tell me that in my last vlog, um, my camera was looking so terrible. Um, I was in post-production and saw like my settings and everything and of course, I probably didn't check my well I didn't obviously check my settings because I just thought they were automatically set but in post I was looking at my footage in Detroit and it was so grainy um my footage from my x3 and it was so grainy and I'm like this is a freaking expensive camera why is this footage looking so crazy um but lo and behold my settings were off one and my back lens um it was scratched up so that it looked like and I guess in some some photos and some video it looked blurry and that's because through recording through the back camera lens that lens was scratched up so I had to go ahead and get a replacement lens cover for it and also to my audio I realized my audio and probably right now the audio sounds funny but because I don't have my mic but my audio was bad so I went ahead and got an adapter to go with my road mic. Um, it's a little cumbersome for me because I think with vlogging, you, the convenience of vlogging is so easy uh, with the X3, but having, you know, kind of an ancillary product is gonna make it bulky, but I, the audio just sounded really bad um, in some cases. So I wanna just make sure that I have, you know, um, my best mic when I'm vlogging. So yeah, trial and error in a lot of ways. Um, I just hate that I, you know, I went and, you know, got all of this content and then in post I'm realizing how not up to par everything was. But again, we live and we learn and that's also a part of, you know, kind of the organic process in vlogging. So no big deal. But yeah, I just realized it and thought I would like point it out like, no, I'm not. I, it wasn't intentional, but it is what it is. So I hope that y'all are well. Um, last weekend, when um, I got my Amazon order, I was so excited about it, I forgot to even tell you what it was, but it was lashes, so. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I've ever kind of had this particular dialogue on the vlog or even in my, you know some of my Instagram posts, but I, um, I've never been a strip lash girl. I could never do them, like, I remember one time I done strip lashes and it was for um, an anniversary dinner and I promised I looked like I had a spider like sitting on my face, um, like, both eyes, like tarantula face. Um, so I've never been inclined to um, invest in strip lashes simply because like they, it, it was cumbersome for me, the glue was sticky, I didn't want to lose eyelashes, all of the things. Um, so I've never really been a strip lash girl. Um, I big up to all of my friends who can do it. My daughter, like she can put lashes on in her sleep. Not me. That's not my ministry. Um, but um, like over the years, I've invested. You know, I went and got you know my lashes done professionally. Um, spent a whole lot of money doing that. Um, and while I love the look of it, being able to you know get up and go, not having to put on mascara if I didn't want to. Um, you know kind of having you know this luscious look that you know may, you could maintain if you did you know if you did what you're supposed to do you know several weeks but again the price 
was just expensive. Um, and then secondly, um, what was my second point? Oh, I'm just so active, right? Um, so I remember the very first time I got my lashes done. And, you know, they tell you all the do's and the don'ts, and which is fine. But because I'm just so active, like the way in which I was sweating and all of the things, especially working out, like I was, I had so much lash fall. It was almost like they were like, oh my gosh, this is not a fill. You're going to have to get a new set. And I'm like, absolutely not. We're not going to keep doing that. Um, so I, you know, I was doing lashes for about a year. After that, I just, I couldn't maintain it with my lifestyle, but also too, you know, just thinking about the cost and while, it, you know, it was in my budget, I really thought about, okay, what could I do? Just think about what you could do with that money, you know, every month and every year. And of course, I repurposed the money to do stuff, the other stuff that I wanted to do, like vacationing. I want to be a professional vacationer when I grow up. So <laughs> what better time to start, you know, planning my vacations than now? Um, I'm jesting. I'm for real, but I'm joking. Um, but yeah, so a long-winded way of saying, I was like, I got to figure out a way that I can enjoy lashes, um, that I can wear them when I want, that it's not going to take me 30 minutes to, um, to apply and put on and perfect and all of the things. So of course, TikTok comes through and you see all these TikToks of the girls, the girlies that do magnetic lashes. And I'm like, what? And again, I'm like, okay, this is such a scam. Like, no way, Jose. Um, but sure enough, I, you know, I did a little bit of digging. I watched a couple of tutorials. And I said, you know what? I could, I could do this. I can do this. And sure enough, um, they came last weekend. And I was vlogging at the time. And as soon as they came, like, I meant to, like, keep the camera running. But I just was so thrilled to be, you know, kind of getting in my DIY bag that I didn't even pick the camera back up and I had been you know I've been wearing them ever since so I've got on a pair of magnetic lashes now and these are not the most flamboyant pair um, I don't think I, I can pull those off especially in a work setting but they are pretty dramatic um, but I love them I really do and I'm sorry I'm gotta stop vlogging and driving but I love them um, and they're so easy if you can get the the technique down the application technique down which I will admit is it feels very counterintuitive for how you would normally put a lash on but if you can get the technique down on how to get the the lashes to you know stay on um, it's so easy uh, they stay all day they're super secure um, I you know when you first put them on of course they, you can tell that they're there but by the time you go and get your coffee in the morning, you don't even remember that you have lashes on. Like, I only remember that I have lashes on this because this particular pair is long. And when I go to open my eyes wide, they hit the, you know, they hit my, my upper lid. So, you know, there's that. But other than that, I am really enjoying these lashes. They are low maintenance, um, easy to clean. Um, and again, you, you shouldn't have to do a whole, whole lot of cleaning simply because, um, you're not wearing mascara. I mean, I guess you could. I wouldn't just because they're um, they're already pretty full anyway, and you don't want to gunk them up. Um, but you know, of course, you've got eye makeup on, you got liner on, um, and you know, throughout the course of the day, that transfer does get on the lashes. But in terms of you know cleaning, they're very easy to clean. Um, they store well. The magnets are very strong, very small. They're not obvious to see. Again, you can't see unless you flip my eyelid up to see that the magnet is sitting on my lash line. But um, yeah, I love them. Um, and if you all are interested, I don't know if I'll do. Maybe I'll do a you know a how to because I found those videos on YouTube to be super helpful um, in figuring out how to apply the lashes, how to wear them, where you would wear them, um, and then just their maintenance. And, you know, even online, the reviews I saw for the lashes, especially even the ones that were considered the best uh, lashes on the, on the sites, um, the reviews, they ranged and, you know, ran the gamut. But the ones that were uh, given poor reviews were just because people didn't know how to put them on and I was like well we're 
the people who manufacture the lashes are doing everyone a disservice if there's no real instruction on how to apply the lashes so if you want a video if you're interested in magnetic lashes or want to you know how to put them on how to apply them how to manage them um, let me know I'll make that maybe a part of one of my blogs um, but yeah I I am gonna go back and review and like I said I am NOT a strip lash girl so if I can master magnetic lashes and make them stay on all day and not have to worry about them they're very much fire and forget if I can do it absolutely anybody could do it um, so like I said I think it's just a matter of having the instruction on how to do it properly so anyway I just wanted to share that and you know kind of why I went MIA is because I was just having too much fun uh, playing in makeup and being a girl so <laughs> my, and, and the funny part is my husband loves my lashes so um, that's an ultimate win-win for me um, so yeah that's all as it related to that but I did want to kind of follow up because I remember I was recording I was like when's the last time I recorded and sure enough it was after um, I got the my Amazon package and I hadn't picked the camera up since so I hope that everybody is doing great um, I am actually on my way to work and um, this morning I was getting ready and kind of just laughing at myself because I'm trying it today. Um, it's Friday and we don't really have casual work days. I work in a, um, I work at a corporate headquarters. Um, so I work at the corporate headquarters of my organization. And um, we typic we used to have like the first Monday of every month, we used to kind of do a casual you could wear a jean situation, um, but we've kind of gotten away from that. And the only other time that we have like casual wear is in the summer. Um, we do a casual summer where you can, um, I mean, it's hot, so nobody's coming to work in a, you know, a three piece suit. So we dress down in the summertime, but for the most part, um, it's business casual, but it's not casual dress, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm trying it today because I have a whole denim shirt on, um, but I, you know, I paired it with a kind of my, like my Argyle vest situation, um, and I did a, like a, like a, um, it's not really a wool skirt, um, but I did a, like a, a gray skirt that blends with all, it pulls kind of the look together. Um, but yeah, I, pl I play with texture, I play with color, but I am trying it today because it, it's denim. Um, and we typically, while we don't wear jeans we, and we don't, you know, tell people they can't wear denim per se, we typically don't do the denim in the office. Um, <laughs> but it's a look. It's a look. Um, and I would be remiss not to, you know, not to wear my wardrobe. Um, but I did, I did, I am acknowledging that, um, yeah, it's. It, we might be on the fence a little bit today, but it's very cute. So I decided I was going to wear it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I try to get it all out because when I'm on the job, I am on the job. I seldom do I have some downtime at work. Um, so if I have like a spare moment, I do want to vlog. But it, I shared with you before, it is challenging because I don't love vlogging in the car um, because my attention is split and I just, you know, I, I think state safety is important first and foremost, um, but my attention is split between driving and also, you know, kind of having car uh, dialogue with you all, and I'm not giving you my full attention, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get everything out, all of the talking points or things that I'm just thinking about or the things that are coming to the top of my head. I think the only other thing is I'm, I think I'm over my braids. Um, I've had these braids in some type of iteration or form or rebraid uh, since November. Um, I got my braids done to go on vacation back in November. And I think they were actually were in a little bit before that, but I've had them in since November. I've had them in since Veterans Day. And um, I was thinking I'm gonna go on vacation again in April, so I probably, want to just um, refresh them or take them out and, and rebraid them up. but they take a long time to do my braids take about 14 hours start to finish and my back is at a big age right now 
Um, so it's like I'm down bad every time I like after I braid my hair like I'm down bad for like, about 28 hours like in recovery <laughs> so it's just thinking about that is making me nauseous um, thinking about all that has to go into taking them down washing my hair refreshing them putting them back in um, yeah yeah just thinking about that is like high stress so I think I'm probably gonna be done with my braids um, I, I love them I think they're fantastic uh, they're easy maintenance it's a look um, I get book compliments um, even in a professional setting um, my colleagues really enjoy them and I also think I'm being a trailblazer in that I'm normalizing um, you know um, protective styles in the workplace um, not because why you know why are we still having this conversation in 2024 but you know don't talk to me about my hair don't ask me about my hair I'm not asking you about yours um, I'm in a workplace I'm professional um, I come and do what I'm supposed to be doing um, in the end uh, so I think because I consistently show up in this way um, I want to make it okay for you know people who are coming after me or you know while I'm here that this is normal um, and no matter who it is like you seeing it is normal you being able to show up this way is normal uh, what's the problem so I, I, I enjoy that for myself and I hope that that resonates strongly with others um, but I will just say that it's it's a lot in terms of um, the maintenance once it's done it's done but to you know maintain it over time um, it can be a lot and like I said um, I've had them in since November so I'm kind of ready for something different and the color too I think the color might be a little bit um, much <laughs> um, I, I love it um, but I do know that it's it's it can be a little dr dramatic um, so if I were to braid my hair again, I probably would just go dark. I'll go, you know, a 1B to 2 in terms of the color instead of, I think I've got a custom blend. Um, I mix color and, and do kind of a custom blend. I think it's anywhere from 1B to 33 uh, to get this color. And again, that even takes a long time because you got to get the color just right. Um, so yeah, all of that to say, I think I am done with my braids. I'm I'm over washing goes too. Um, so maybe I'll do another protective style. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted, but I just wanted to share that. So because probably I'm gonna end this vlog here or today, and the next time you'll see me, I'll have different hair. So I didn't want it to be like a shocker. Like, girl, what you doing and where? Um, <laughs> so that um yeah that's it i kind of have word soup right now um but i'm getting ready to head into the office it is 7 30. yeah let me go ahead and get my day started so i can get home and do the things um i hope everybody's well and i will talk to you guys soon peace so i just wanted to give you guys the look also so here's my denim Let's see if i can just like sit yeah, so there it is. The look, the skirt, the tights, and the down. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Peace. Promise, yeah. And it may seem like that.